Hello students, in this video we'll prove some results about countability. Here's our first proposition. If A is a countable set and B is a subset of A with B infinite, then B is countable. So here's the proof. The proof is that since I can find a bijection between A and N, so since I can find a mapping phi, which takes N into A, a bijection implies that we can enumerate the elements of A. And we can do so in following. We can write them as a1. Of course, a1 is going to be corresponding to the phi of 1, right? a2 corresponding to the phi of 2, a3, a4, etc. forever, right? So that's the enumeration of the points in a. So that's what a is. a is the set over here. <clears throat> and then what we do is the following. We choose n1 to be the smallest natural number with a n1 in b. There's certainly such a smallest. Then we'll choose n2 to be the next smallest. n2 is the next smallest. Such that a n2 is in b. And so what we've done here then for is we've therefore written by induction, we can write that, that b is what? Is a n1 a, N2, et cetera, A, N, K. And that is an enumeration of B. And so I can find a function psi that maps to N1, N2, N3, because that's a subset of natural numbers. And so such a psi exists. And therefore, B is countable. So B is countable. Okay. That's the first result we have. The second result we have is that the countable union of countable sets is countable. So a proposition. The countable union of countable sets, let's we can call these sets AJ, is countable. And so what we can do is actually this is a very, very useful construction is without loss of generality, so proof we can assume. that the AJ are disjoint. Now how do I do that? How do I assume that AJ are disjoint? Well, what I can do is I can replace AJ, I can look at, I can, look, I can set A1 tilde just to be A1. I can set A2 tilde to be A2 minus everything that was in A1, take away the things that are in A1. I can define A3 tilde to be what? To be A3, take away everything that was in either A1 or in A2, and so in this way, I can sequentially a n tilde is a n. So get everything in a n that just wasn't in what? a 1 union all up to a n minus 1. So these sets are disjoint. So a j tilde intersect a l tilde is empty. And the union of the a j's, so the union of the a j's, j greater than or equal to 1, is equal to the union j greater than or equal to 1 of the aj tilde. And so what we can do now is we can enumerate these aj, right? So what I'll do is I'll write this down. So I'm going to write a1 over here. So here's my a1. a1 is going to be a11, then a12, then a13, etc. My a2 will be what? My a2 is going to be a21, a22, a23, and then so on forever. My A3 is going to be what? My A3 is going to be A31, A32, A33, and so on forever. And so what I need to do now is I need to show you how I'm going to construct this, construct this bijection. I'll do one more actually. A4, A4 will be 
a4, 1, a4, 2, a4, 3, and so on forever. And what we do is we just simply draw the diagonals that go at a 45 degree, uh, 45 degree tilt or a pi over 4 radian tilt with respect to this configuration, with respect to this array. So this is my axis over here and this is my axis over here. I'm going to draw 45 degree tilt lines. So the first thing we're going to do is this. We're going to go through a1 on my first line. Then I'm going to go through a2, 1, and a2, 2. And so we can notice over there that when I go through a1, 1, the indices add to 2. So the indices add to 2. Over here, the indices add to 3. I can go, I can go with this tilt line from 3, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3, like so. That is my four height line. And I can keep doing this procedure indefinitely. And so in this fashion, by drawing all of these 45 degree tilt lines, I'm able to find a one-to-one -one correspondence between everything in N and everything in this uh, infinite array. And now everything in this array, we can assume they're disjoint, so I, get, I don't get any repetitions in this, so that ensures that I have an injection and a surjection. And so this tells us that the countable union of countable sets by this procedure is countable. Thank you very much.